What's up you guys? Chad Guthrie the Dream Poet here. Coming to you all with day 289 of my vlogging experience here in the state of Florida. And you know what you guys, last few days I haven't had much luck with um, with using this vinegar to get off the get the rust off my guns, my fines. So, I'm going to try something that honestly I never thought it would be as easy as it is, but apparently it is. And tonight, we're going to be doing some electrolysis. You're wondering what electrolysis is? Well, I'll explain to you all what it is. It is when you shoot an electrical sh charge through a particular piece of rusted metal. The ions react with the electrodes, and what that does is that just causes the rust to break off. Honestly, I think that's the first time I've ever described chemistry. But it works, especially in the sunken treasure market. They use it all the time. And it's actually surprisingly pretty easy. Let me show you all what, what I'm talking about, what we'll be doing tonight. All right, let me show you all what we will be doing tonight. Now, I've seen other models and more elaborate setups than what I will be doing. For what I'm doing, since it's my first time, I haven't invested a whole lot of money into what I'll be doing, but it will, regardless, do its job. I was watching a few things on YouTube on people who have done this similar thing before, and for me, I think my setup is, it, it, it's decent and it'll work. But when you're doing this, you guys, you want a, ve a well ventilated area because of the electrons that react with what we'll be doing. But let me explain further on that. You're gonna need one of these. Now you can use any different type of size tub. For me, this is the type that I will be using mainly because it fits this and my butte this, which is what I mainly doing. From there, we're going to fill it up with water and you're supposed to put a tablespoon per gallon of water of baking soda. Baking soda reacts with the charge. The power source, what we'll be working on, is a car charger, car battery charger. Um, you can also use batteries as well, but for me, it's going to be a little bit iffy because mine does not have a control on it. So I'm sort of just kind of going off the hip to see. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to put it in for no more than 30 minutes. And from there. Hold up. There. I found what I was looking for. You need something to hook your positive up to. This is what we will be hooking up our positive with. I'm going to set it like that to the side and from there you're what you're going to do you're going to put your positive said there your negative side you're going to want to hook it up to well whatever you are charging like oh say my gun right here that's why i'll be hooking up to it and hopefully everything will go all right so let's get this thing set up. Um, I'm a little bit iffy about putting it up outside, but I think we will be okay for the moment. And of course you don't want any wires hanging out of the way because that could truly shock the crap out of somebody and ruin the process whatsoever. So yeah, I think that's gonna work. So I guess let's, let's start filling her up with water. Okay, without further ado, let's start this. But first, I want to check out some of the stuff that are the do's and don'ts of all this. I mean, I've already talked about it, but I just want to be careful. And... Oh, crap. Well, looks like we will be taking another trip to Walmart because this is steel and 
You can't mix steel while doing electrolysis. It puts off a harmful chemical that is cancerous or that is a carcinogen. Fruit for thought. So, I guess we're heading to Walmart. So, Well, at this hour, finding a, a lodge skillet was the only thing that I could find that was really iron. Yeah, yeah I thought Walmart would have a, a, a selection, but I guess not. So, I did manage, however, to uh, pick up some washing soda. This is another thing that I found out that could have easily screwed this process up. You're not supposed to use baking soda. You're supposed to use super washing soda. Well, washing soda. Anyway, it's what causes the electrons to go off and fire and do all that good stuff, which just rips out the rust. So you guys, I did not get to do what I got wanted to do tonight, but I don't know. I mean, I just love just that classic like rusty look to it but I mean I'll fix it up eventually but uh, I mean I don't I just don't want it to crack and get fragile on me so tonight wasn't a total loss I am now a more clairvoyant as to um, more clairvoyant as to what usually could have given me cancer or something so you guys, I think I'm going to call this one a night. It's super late. Tomorrow, we'll finish it up. Because these things can turn out really pretty. And that's what I want to do. So, you guys, I'm calling it a night. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. That will keep you in the loop on daily content of my life here in the state of Florida. Stay posted. Stay tuned. Keep in touch with me at Dream Poet at Facebook. As well as my Instagram. In the link's below. Thank you all for the love and support. Love you all very much. Peace, guys.